Okay, we're going to talk today about 7x19 construction wire rope. Uh, you can see the image of the profile of the cable on the screen here and it's um, a 7x19 construction by the seven strands so we have six outer strands and one central strand and all the strands contain 19 wires laid up 12 over 6 over 1 and the whole rope is also 6 over 1 construction uh, it's a cross laid construction that means that the 12 over 6 over 1 wires uh, are laid up with the wire crowns touching like this it's actually uh, all the wires in the rope are the same size so um, it's a relatively easy rope to make it's a good flexible general engineering rope and we've got a few examples here of, of what this ropes like in a few diameters so this is a one and a half mil version so it's very flexible uh, you've got 133 wires in one and a half millimeter diameter so that would be a good little cable to work around sheaves and pulleys uh, now, this is a 4 mil version, you can see it's still really flexible so it's great for forming soft eyes in, again a good working rope for winches, type of thing that would be used on like a caravan winch, uh, winch a speedboat up, things like that. And then this is a bigger diameter, this is an 8 mil, this is actually stainless and you can still see it's getting a bit harder to form an eye but it's still relatively easy to form a loop in there to um, either press it with ferrule secured ends or put wire rope grips on you can see this rope's preformed so that means it's actually got a helix set into it at the manufacturing stage so you can see when it unwinds there that's the set in the rope wind it back up and it goes back into place without any wire frays so it doesn't fly open like you'd expect them to it just stays put uh, when it's cut you do need to cut it with proper wire rope cutters to uh, to, to obtain an end like that um, so this one here is stainless steel so that's 316 grade stainless uh, it's 1570 tensile you'll see that on test certs um, this is the galvanized version that's going to be either 1770 or 1960 tensile actually stronger than the stainless in, in, in tensile obviously not corrosion resistant so applications for this uh, this product let's just quickly have a look at where we sell most of this uh, definitely for winch ropes uh, it's really good for slings if you um, if you actually have a press you can make up wire rope slings with that it's pretty good for catenary and balustrade infills particularly if you've got to go around any bends or, or angles it, it, it's a better product than the 7x7 construction or the 119 and um, it's it's just a good general engineering rope so it's a good choice if you don't know much about wire ropes you will probably not have a problem with this product for most applications it, it, it has slightly more elongation possibly than some of the other constructions but it's a good all-round product and easier to work with on site than the other the other types okay when you order this cable uh, we can either supply it cut to length like these examples uh, so we have auto cutting capability and we can also fuse the ends so we can electro seal the ends so they they won't open uh, we also a standard would supply that in a meter length of, of unbroken quantity so if you ordered 20 meters you would get a 20 meter unbroken length of product thanks for watching the video uh, if you need to actually purchase any of this product www.technique.uk that's t-e-c-n-i.uk thanks for watching